What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video and today we're going to talk about the Rockstar Destiny 2 gear called website being live. We're going to talk about Trials of Osiris, the raid and a few other bits and bobs. But because we're talking about the Rockstar website being live where you can get that exclusive in-game gear for Destiny. Today I'm going to give away five, yes five, gear codes, exclusive Rockstar gear codes. Now, I'll show you guys my collection of cans and I've actually got another crate in my boot as well in my car. But I've got, I don't know how many cans here, but they stack back, I don't know, there's probably about 35, 40 cans in here. So we're gonna give away five, and I'm gonna give away five of these ones, because I don't really like this flavor. The blue flavor is quite nice, but you know, this is just like diabetes hiding away in my cupboard. This is, that's exactly what this is. So yeah, get rid of that, there we go. Now we will, if I can pick all these up, which I can't. Sorry about my um, unprofessional camera skills. I'm trying to look what I'm doing and hold my camera in the right direction. And there we go. There's five, and now we're just gonna open these. I'm gonna taste this, actually. It ain't too bad, but I ain't drinking all these. There's no way I'm drinking all these. Just take the pins off and give them away to you guys. So yes, if you want to be in the chance of winning one of these, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below and I will give them away. I will contact you via YouTube direct message or make sure your YouTube channel has been enabled so you can receive direct messages because I've got to pick so many people to give them a code and I can't because I can't send them a direct message on YouTube so yes, Drop a like, leave a comment, and let's get into the video. Okay, so talking about the Rockstar Destiny 2 in-game exclusive content, the website is now live and you will find it linked within the video description. If you've got a code from me or from anywhere else, you simply want to sign in with your Bungie account, enter the code right here, and you will get your loot come Tuesday or Wednesday when you get to play the actual game. Now you can redeem up to 3 in-game engrams per week with 24 available overall. Rockstar Energy Limited Edition Titan Warlock or Hunter can cause unlock in-game rewards. Every code also earns 1 daily, 1 weekly and 1 grand prize entry. There is no limit on the number of entries you can earn. Let's go and have a look at the gear. Okay, so we can see here we've got our Hunter, Warlock and Titan. I'm guessing this is the gear you can get right here. And the weapon shaders, as the shaders match his actual colour of the armours as well. Looking pretty snazzy, they really are. I think you may be able to get these weapons too. That looks like an SMG, a grenade launcher, and I believe that might be an SMG too. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Or an auto rifle maybe? Uh, maybe not, I don't know. But yes, collect game loot. Every in-game engram contains powerful weapon and armor. Come back each week to earn more armor. Nice. Loads of prizes. Every can card is a chance to win daily, weekly, and grand prizes, including Destiny 2 themed motorcycles. Start collecting cards. More cards entered. Offers more chances to win. Daily prizes. Another day, another prize. Destiny 2 limited edition game winners every day. Weekly prizes. Every week, three lucky winners will get a PS4 Pro system and a Destiny 2 collector's edition bundle. Nice. Pretty snazzy and grand prizes. Three grand prize winners will get a Destiny 2 themed motorcycle. Let's have a look at these things. Look at this. Oh my, they are amazing. Ah, oh, the wallet one, to be honest, looks the best. Look at that black and orange. That looks incredible. But then, you know, I'd have to go with my, I'd have to go with my Hunter. But you know what? This just they look badass. They look badass. But yes, guys, if you have a code, you may as well go on entry. You may as well get your in-game engrams. Uh, you may as well put yourself in with a chance of winning one of these juicy prizes. You seriously may as well. Okay, so we're going to move on to other news. Okay, so now we have some news coming from the Bungie weekly update that dropped last night. And we're quoting Bungie right here. End game. After launch, there will be a few rituals and firsts that you might want to plan for as you ascend to orbit around the Destiny Endgame. Some of these activities will be ready and waiting as soon as you play your way through them. Others will go live shortly thereafter, giving you and your teammates time to prepare to get geared up and ready to go. So here are the dates you should mark in your calendar. Nightfalls are ready when you are. So you'll be able to play Nightfalls as soon as you think you're power worthy. It's as simple as that. The raid. This will come 10am PST on September 13th. Which is the following Wednesday after release of Destiny 2. And then we've got Trials of the Nine which will come at 10am PT. September 15th which is a Friday. 
which I actually can't wait for. I mean, I wasn't a massive fan of PvP within Destiny 1, probably because I was bad at it, but number two, I'm going to grind a lot harder in, so hopefully I become quite decent, you know. But what I'm most looking forward to is the raid. I'm just so, so curious about all the things that have been pieced together over the past week to see where this thing takes place. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's been a lot of information pieced together by the community over the past week trying to figure out where this raid will be, where it will take place, etc, etc. Now I've uploaded a couple of videos on this already, but the main one covering everything I will link within the video description if you do want to check that out. Curious, and this is a tweet from Luke Smith, he states, There will be no raid tease for Destiny 2's first raid. It will launch at 10am Pacific on September 13th. He goes on to say about trials arriving at 10am September 15th. So there's going to be no raid tease within Destiny 2's first raid. That's crazy, that is it. Seriously, it's a, I think it would be a big selling point to be honest. If they did drop a little trailer maybe. But hey, it's their game, it's their choice. I just cannot wait to get my hands on it. I seriously cannot. Another thing they mentioned definitely worth mentioning in this video when they're talking about engrams Mark Norsworthy tweeted out quite a while back In D2 it's no longer advantageous to equip your most powerful gear when decrypting engrams We check for your best possible loadout now Basically it automatically checks your loadout, your inventory for the best gear you've got and will decrypt at the best possible level according to your loadout this is what they say about it. When we say best possible gear, we look at what the best scenario is for your character across your account. That means that if you are playing on your hunter, like you should, I like that, we might use the helmet you accidentally left in the vault, the boots you just picked up but haven't equipped, and the auto rifle you forgot to transfer from your warlock. Gear and other characters in your vault, in your inventory, or currently equipped are all compared to find the best loadout you could have. That's even better than I first thought. I just thought it automatically checks your current character and his inventory. It basically checks your whole account, which is absolutely great. They then go on to mention and question, if engrams set their power at the moment they drop, how am I supposed to know which ones have the best gear? With this image on screen now we can see, they state, Destiny 2's engrams are pretty cool because they'll tell you right on the tooltip what the power they dropped at is. This is the minimum power that will come out of an engram. So that's just epic. The thing is, it's saying here you can only hold up to 10 engrams at a certain time. Hopefully there's more space in them vaults. Because you know, people like me love to do them engram opening videos. <laughs> but yes guys, even after all the massive leaks yesterday, talking about all the exotics, all the lost sectors, all the strikes, all the story missions, and so forth, which I have covered by the way, which I will state they do include plenty of spoilers. I will link them in the video description if you do want to check them out. I am still hyped for things to come, I seriously am. Not long now, people, literally four days until we get to play Destiny 2. I cannot wait. And on that note, guys, I am out. Let me know down below in that comment section what you're most looking forward to. The Raid, Trials of the Nine, just playing the game in general. Let me know down below. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And I will, as always, guys, see you on that next one.